What's going on, Shady people? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to the next episode of our Fire Emblem Three Houses series. Today, we have some gosh darn demonic beasts to slay. I'm really loving heading up this left side. Uh, very different than when we first tried this map, but I think this is, I think this is the way to do it. Let's open this last chest with Ash, and you get an energy drop. Permanently increases strength by two, increases resistance by two. We're gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna send the tomahawk to the uh, convoy. And I think Ash is just gonna end up using those items because he earned them. He literally he literally earned them. Uh, we have this beast here who's ready to be slain, uh, but I do wanna keep advancing and baiting out some hits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move Petra up a bit. I wanna bait, yeah, I wanna bait a bunch. There we go, that's a good bait. We'll do this. And same thing with Ingrid. Uh, we want them to have, we want them to have options. Actually, Ingrid's probably like not as good of a dodger. Okay, one person still attacking Petra. So we want more than one. Uh, okay. That's two attacking me. You know what, Ingrid? You try your dodging. You're not my wife, but you could be nimble. Uh, Flane, I want you to do work, okay? Right now, I want you to body this, this creature. Nosferatu, you can keep that equipped in case anything funky happens. We'll take the rest of this HP down right now. That's an HP bar gone. Uh, ooh, now you're weak to swords. What's well, I strength? have a swordsman right here who wants to put it. He wants to kill you. Okay, right here. The 79% crit chance, and I don't proc it. Wild. Wild. Still weak to swords. Well, I don't have any more swordsmen that can reach you because my poor. Wait a minute. Can he get to where Dimitri is? He can. Okay, so Dimitri, you're gonna you're gonna dip out. You're gonna say bye. You're gonna start heading up there. And my boy, oh, you can't get there. Why did it look like you could get there? What the heck? Okay, Annette, what about you? Wow, you will live on one HP. Uh, it's probably not worth it then. And I want to use Mercedes to heal. So let's, I could have just attacked with Dimitri then. <laughs> Savine, how are you doing? 41 times two, that's pretty dope. With a high chance to crit, you're gonna crit. Yeah, you are! See, it's just about that confidence, all right? It's just about knowing when something's gonna go down the way you need it to go down, okay? And actually, Sylvain can man the, uh, this, now that I think about it. Sylvain can man that. Uh, and that's gonna move up. Mercedes, you are going to come here and use a beautiful fortify. I think that's worth it, and my boy, uh, Felix, you can come through here. Felix, I feel like Felix has fallen off a little bit, but I think that's my fault more than anything else. You know, I don't, I don't think it's Felix. I don't think it's Felix's fault. Oh, Manuel, I'm level thirty-two. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Flane, you're just gonna move up. You're gonna man this. So you can deal twelve. Oh, you can like body these guys though. That's cute. So if they're not magic users, you can really tear into them. For now, let's just, let's tear into the people that are going to try to tear into me. It's not like crazy damage, but it's fine. It's good. And training Axe Plus. Uh, this is going after Dimitri for 18. Oh, no, for 18% chance to hit. Why does she have such a bad chance to hit? Okay, 49% on Mercedes. It connects, and I hate you for it. She does not deserve that. Petra. Yeah, Pet we're, this is going to be the Petra Dodge show, ladies and gentlemen. No, she does not drive a Charger or a Challenger, but this is definitely the Petra Dodge show. No use. Look at this! Oh my gosh. I want to do a Violet solo run where I make him a flyer and he can just dodge everything, and then I just... I just win. I'll just win. Violet did just take a ton of damage, uh, which is scary. And it's weird that I'm calling him Violet now, but like... Now that, he, now that like I'm more familiar with the story, I feel like it's important to call him Violet. I don't know. Let's try to take out as many of these goons as we can. So, uh, actually, this looks like a good time, Dorothea, to use her meteor. It's not, no, it's not a crazy amount of damage. It's not a good time for Dorothea to use her meteor. Let's see if Annette can out magic these guys. Uh, ooh, this is very good use of this, actually. Nice. And we bodied a bunch of fools. Okay, Ingrid, you can come in here. You can't, I lied. Um, let's see. 
Oh, this song is so good. Let's get Ash up here. Maybe Ash can go ahead and dead eye. Oh, you can you can actually just destroy some souls. Bro, I'm with it. You don't kill him, which is unfortunate. Okay, well you, you kill these these goons. So let's just kill this one. Let's kill this goon dead. Goodbye! See you later, like mysterious you. mage, soldier person. Um, obviously gonna need a, a fat heal coming out at some point. I think I'm gonna let... You can't get there. We gotta kill this person. That's why I should have killed with Ash, honestly. But it's fine. We're gonna crit you right now. Just for No, we're just not! I don't want to crit you, actually. I lied. That was a fake test testament that I said. I didn't want to do that. You can't prove that I ever wanted to do that. Uh, my girl Petra, you're in the line of fire, and it's okay. Woo! Yo, that's kind of Petra and Bit, but, ugh, they're just, they're a couple. They're a power couple. Um, we'll wait here to bait one thing. We're gonna, we're, we're about to move the heck in soon. We're literally gonna move into Edelgard's home. Do I have something to body you? Ooh, Swift, that's right, Swift Strikes. Bro, we've like never used this because we went into a magic user. Look at that! Don't bother haunting me. Bro. Bro. You guys must be so excited that I actually used it. Or just like annoyed that I just used it now for the first time. Either way, you're feeling something. And if you're feeling something, I'm doing my job. Let's go up here. I could use rescue with Flane to like get Felix in the front line where he can actually do work. Let's see if rescue reaches Felix. I think it does. Because Felix doesn't have the best movement. Uh, Manuela, I mean not Manuela, oh my gosh, Dorothea does have, have really good movement, so I'm not too stressed about that. Let me just see if there's, I think it's best to dance for someone. Yeah, let's dance for, for Dimitri. Don't want him taking too much damage, but he is a pretty good dodger. Uh, Felix is up here now, Felix is not that good of a dodger. I'm gonna hide him behind this wall, because that will actually make sense. Going after Dimitri again. She just doesn't want to hit Dimitri. That's the thing. That's why her accuracy is so bad. Stop hitting Mercedes with your 50% chance. Come on. They're going to start coming over here. That's fine. We're going to Excalibur. Do some good damage. I wish it was Nosferatu. Annette grows level 45 right in front of her blood father and her father father, which is me. In case you were wondering. Okay, just don't hit Annette anymore. Dimitri, you're getting hit by a 30... Yeah, you better dodge at least one of those. This is a 33. Okay, all these mages are gonna start coming over. Um, I don't like that that just hit me. Oh no. How many more meteors do you have? Okay, none, great. Or at least none on that, none to use right there. Um, okay, what's the plan, Stan? We're gonna move in with Dimitri, yeah? Okay, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bait literally everyone with Petra. We're so close to her. We're so close to Edel Edelgard. Um, Sylvain can come through. You're gonna run this man through in the chest. You're gonna have to take 30 though if I do it this way. So let's just go Lance of Ruin, 28. Call it a day. With a crit. Don't even need it. I expect no less. No, oh, we can't move anymore. Okay, I thought I could run up. Uh, Violet will come through. And we will. Use her iron sword. So if she is prepared to transform her very body to fight for this future of hers, then I have no choice but to defeat her, even if it costs me my life. We must defend the present. After all, it is all that we truly have. Wow, look at the character growth. Old Dimitri was holding on to the past, his lost loved ones. Oh my gosh. Development. Development. And for some reason, he said that as soon as I walked in here. Um, but that's fine. I don't need all the logic train to follow. Um, I really want to see, obviously, Dimitri interact. So we're going to throw him here. Oh, he's going to take way too many hits, though. He's not that much of a dodger. Okay, this will this will bait one, which is the fine, correct amount. Plane uh, is going to pop proc a uh, fortify right now. Because there's enough people that need it. Uh, we're gonna put a net up here. I'm gonna dance for you, Annette. Actually, I'm gonna dance for you though, but up here. Let's dance here. Actually, we should probably let's just see because we have to use meteor. We have to use meteor. Oh, we can't even hit you from here. Hold on. 
If I'm going to use Meteor, let's see if I go here if it's worth. I just... Okay, that's actually fine. This is fine. It might actually stop them from moving. Maybe not. It's just damage. Okay, it's just damage. It's fine. It's good. I appreciate damage. See, who needs to be healed? Yes, Dimitri, definitely. Sure. And we will check back in with our Dodge Petra Show in just a moment. I want to see if Ash can hit anyone. Nope. So you're going to go ahead and just use... Uh, listen, you're getting resistance. Oh, I should have used the other one first. I didn't realize I could only use one. Heck me. Um, this splits everything up real nice, actually. So let's do this. Our flying girls are the Dodgers. I wonder if in Edelgard's route, the anomaly still happens. Because that's what she called it, the anomaly. And I wonder if it still happens when you, uh, when you play her route. It seems to be her ultimate goal is to just transform her body so that she can go ahead and do... Well, her, the transforming of her body is not the ultimate goal, right? But, like, it's a byproduct of her ultimate goal. She needs this power. This power through pain. So, these units are now going to come up, which makes sense. I didn't expect to be able to ignore them completely, completely. But I think we're going to be able to get the interactions we want. Between Dimitri, Shady, and then Petra just killing Edelgard. Actually, I mean, you look at the health that Edelgard has. It's kind of nuts. Like, I don't think we're gonna, I don't think this is gonna be over in like 10 minutes. That would shook me. I would be shooketh. Oh no. No, Saratu. No, no, we have to dodge. Yes, let's go! Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good. from the lower levels. Will they ever stop coming? Probably not. General. Calm down. Get control of the stairwells. Cut off the enemy's entry point. Get control of the stairwells. I don't want to go down there. We're like all the way up here. I guess like normally that would happen at a different time if you didn't go this way. Okay, Felix. You can just one shot with your Moralta! You crit anyway. I'm impressed. Okay, we want to start getting shady up top because he needs an interaction for sure. Uh, 37 times 2. Guess we'll just go with this one. We have a wow dow, though, don't we? 39. Yeah, we'll do this, because we might crit. We're not going to crit. We're, and we're not going to dodge. And now we're going to crit. Another victory. Wanted more crits from you, my dude. Okay. Petra was very impressed with that. Actually, maybe we should send her... Yeah, we're going to put her here. We're going to let you kill. This will actually put you in range to attack if we wanted to, which is crazy. Nice, you're dead. Level 46, Petra the Wyvern Lord. Okay. I'll put you right next to your husband. Um, what else do we need to do? We got to do some damage over here, I think. You know, I think we got it because like these guys are, are actually trying to target some people like Flane does not want to be targeted. So Flane's going to move up for sure. Um, but first, let's keep attacking because we might end up just uh, going for a restore or fortify if we have any more. Okay, Dimitri's getting closer to where I need him to be. Now I can let you take this guy out. You can take this guy out real easy. You didn't have to get hit though, but you could take him out real easy. We're gonna get you up here because we're gonna have to surround Edelgard. She's uh she's a little bit too beefy for my liking. Like I would prefer if she wasn't gonna do all this kind of damage to me. Um Let's see what happens when I move Flane really quick. Okay, you're going after Sylvain now, which might be okay. Sylvain could just come up here. 
Uh, Mercedes can't really get in in. And I think it's more important for me to come up here. And I think I want to dance for Dimitri. It's definitely the interaction I'm more curious about is... Um, although, if I move Dimitri, things could go bad. I'm more curious about Dimitri and Edelgard than I am uh, Byleth and Edelgard. If I go here, is she going to attack me? She's not. Well, she might attack me with something else, but... Okay, we're right here. We're literally right here. I'm like, my, my chest is pumping now, bro. Pumping. Uh. Oh no! Did I stop the recording? That would be absolutely terrible. Okay, I didn't. Nice. Woo! Let's go, Felix. Okay. All these soldiers got in here way quicker than I thought they would. Um, okay, so we're just gonna start the interactions because we have how many divine pulses? 11. So let's just start start seeing what happens. Okay, no chance to crit you. Have to use the sword of the creator, obviously. And you're dealing 23. Okay. Yeah, so we have to go with sword of the creator because it's the cutest. And we have 20 more use of it, so I might as well go with also Sublime Heaven. Facing you, I grow weak. Oh, so that's all she says still? We saw that already. So big ol' big old tight. A big old big old boy tight. Big old she's just big. It's a big tight. Real big. Okay, now we can go ahead. Uh and Oh, oh, she has armor like that. Oh, okay. Now the problem with me doing this, okay, here's here's the plan. Here's the plan. We do this. We dance for you, and then we're gonna have to rescue Dorothea if we don't finish the game right now, which I don't think we will. Or finish the battle. Oh, I'm so excited for this interaction. Oh, here we go. To be changed beyond all recognition. That is what lies at the end of the ideals you serve so diligently. I have no pity for one such as you. Wow! That is the future you hoped for, and you deserve no compassion. Wow, and she says nothing, bro. She says nothing, and her attack is twin crest power. So does she have two crests? Hmm. Okay, so now she has, um... I can always forget the name is Vantage? Advantage, yep. Yeah. When bow initiate combat unit still attacks first if HP is less than or greater less than or equal to. Greater than or equal to? Greater than or equal to. Less than? Less than. Greater than? Greater than. Okay, so she's gonna attack first, which is trash. Um let's bring Petra up here. Uh yeah, Petra's Petra has a chance to crit because of this axe, I think. Oh, because her shield's down now. She misses. But she's gonna crit now. She doesn't crit. Okay, that's okay. So now we need to do. Oh, we have a little bit of an issue here. Uh, wow, there are so many people that want to kill me. Combat arts, dead eye. You can respond to me, bro. That's wild. Luckily, okay. I'm gonna risk this. 69 to hit. Oh no, she attacks first. I take 40. We could have possibly done it in one round. We could have we could have just waited one more turn and then done it all in one round. But it's all good. Leone. Oh, she's also on a horse. That is true. Getting the level up. Okay, she has one more. And it's like double vantage or double. Guaranteed to attack twice. Desperation. Okay, so now she always attacks first. She literally always attacks first. Um, we are going to rescue Dorothea. Right? That's a play. 
That is definitely a play. Flame level 47. Dude, what's the level cap? What Merced is here, she dies too. Oh boy. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's go for Physic. So, Shady probably needs it the most. We'll give it to, we'll give it to Byleth. Well oh, we unfortunately don't have any other physics, but we're just gonna get everyone out of harm's way if possible. Okay, it's not completely possible, but it's okay. I'm gonna wait. Sylvain, you're gonna stay right here. Here we go! This is like the second to last turn. Okay, 22. A 50? We missed the second one. Oh, Dimitri, you could have had the final blow right there. Now you're going after Ingrid? What did she do to you, Edelgard? Listen, all of your troops, they're done. I wanted to go straight to the heart of this. Uh-oh. Helix? Don't make me Divine Pulse, please, just for you. Okay. Who do we want to give the last hit to? I feel like the, po the poetry says to give it to, to, to Dimitri. So, let's heal him up. A nice fortify. And Dimitri... Oh, wait, this isn't the last hit. You still have a whole other HP bar. Crap! Crap! Okay. Um... Let's see. Is there anything I can do? You have a shield again. Ugh. All right. So we need to do, we need to do this. We need to break your shield with Ash. You're going to kill me though. I don't think you can reach. Oh, I wish I had my meteor. I actually think Ragnarok will reach. Doron, rather. I mean, I guess I do this. So here's what we do. We dodge! That's what we do! We're gonna go ahead and use a net to heal or recover Ash. And Ash is gonna swoop in. Hmm. I guess we don't need any combat arts. Let's just do this. You tag me once for 39. We're dodging, though, because my name is Ash Ketchum. <laughs> Woo! We dodge! Okay. Everyone's getting a piece of her. No longer has a shield. So let's do this. Oh, first let's back up. Byleth. Doesn't matter what you use, but you have to use Sublime Sword of the Creator because it's thematic. And I, li I live for the thematics. Look at that! Okay. She has another new ability, I'm sure. Fiery Death, it looks like. It just looks like a, a, a fiery death. If a phone initiates combat only units, HP is less than 50%. Grants. So I have to kill you now, is what you're saying. Otherwise, I'm dying. There's nothing. I mean, this is such a good. This is such a high chance to kill. We have divine pulses. I'm pretty sure Petra will kill you. Hold on. Let me see what Petra's crit, crit opportunity is like. Yeah, it's just as high. Okay. So, we could do like a lore tactic. Because this doesn't do a lot. But if it misses its waste. Okay, here we go. This is what we're doing. We're just going in with Dimitri's weapon, and we just need to crit. It's no crit. We dodge! Come on, Dimitri. Dimitri! You ruined things for me. I wanted you to do the last hit. Okay, so let's see how this divine pulsing goes. I mean, my wife getting the last blow is almost just as good. Dodge! Petra! You slayed her! I'm putting the controller down. Wow. 
She's done. Targ. Edelgard. It is over. Stage complete. Ten turns. MVP is, of course, my wife. Ooh, cutscene. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. Hmm. Does she go back to her other self? Okay, he's not dead. I thought it was gonna be like a, like a dual exchange for a second. Oh. Wow, that was really well done. I don't know why that, that hand grab just got me so bad. Oh my God, that was so good. A rising flame was alight as the flow of time carved a new history for Fodlan. The long reign of the Adrestian Empire finally met its end when the imperial capital, the city of Envar, collapsed. After five and a half years of war, a new age was set to begin. With Fodlan united as the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Archbishop Rhea, still weak from her imprisonment, stepped down from her position. The Church of Saros began to take the needed steps to reorganize. Wait, what? So we don't even get to see her? Prince Dimitri formally ascended the throne, beginning his reign as the King of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, which now included former alliance and imperial <laughs> territories. Texts from the time claimed that the one who guided the king as he sought to create a world free from oppression became the new Archbishop of the Church of Saros. Whoa! Byleth is the new Archbishop! So, R Lady Rhea stepped down, but we don't actually get to see- well, it, it, come on. We really had success. Oh. The war is finished now, but there are still many, many problems for solving. I... it is past the time I should be returning to Bridget. You're going back home? Yes. My grandfather. I... I can't be leaving him now. Our relationship with Fodlin will be changing. I am royalty of Bridget. There are duties that I must be fulfilling, but... I can't be sitting on the throne. I will be choosing a new leader, and then I will be returning to Fodlin. She's coming back! This is what my heart is wanting. That's what you want, then. Yes. I am meaning... no? I will try to speak with more precision. <laughs> You're so cute! If I were staying away from Fodlin, then I could not be having what I am wanting. And that is... I will be telling you now if you are wanting to hear it. Yes. I am wanting to... to stay with you. I have hopes that we can spend all of our lives close to each other. Oh. I want us to be supporting each other and live with each other in times of joy and times of sorrow. In all of the times. Is that... In all of the is times. That a possibility? Look at her blush. Petra, this is for you. 
my mother's this ring. A ring of promise. I have understanding, and I am accepting with all of my heart. Understanding. Rings are for promising weddings. I read all about that custom in a Fodlin book. I have never told my feelings to someone like that before. I had so much nervousness. You have made my heart fly with happiness. I, Petra, give you my promise. Spirits of Earth, please be guiding us home for all of our days. Spirits of Water, please be filling our cups with kindness and good fortune. Spirits of Wind, please be gifting us freedom and divine protection. Those are the words we are saying in Bridget when we give someone our promise. Aww. I give you my promise too. I love you, Petra. There is one other thing to be said. Yes? Woo! Shady has a text! <clears throat> my beloved, you Whoa. are the most precious thing in the world to me. You enchant and fascinate me, and each day you set my heart aflame. Petra, that was beautiful. <laughs> Did I give you a surprise? I have been practicing those words with great diligence. I am so happy. You have my Petra's deep best choice. And all of my heart. For now and forever. And then she like, she's this romantic and this sentimental, and then she'll go and chop your head off with her axe, and she don't care. She'll do both. Get you a girl that'll do both. Don't. You don't need a you don't need a spouse to chop heads off. Just really want to drive that home. That that that. So we literally get to see nothing with Raya. I am genuinely tilted. I am genuinely tilted. We get to see all the MVPs. Let's see who comes with the most. It'll let us know at the end. I am genuinely tilted that on this run through where I was close to Raya. Well, wasn't super close to her, but whatever. I was, I'm at, the I'm at the school, I'm with you all the time. And you turn into a dragon, you disappear. We get to learn nothing of that. I'm guessing that on other routes, you'll learn more. I feel like on Edelgard's route, you'll learn the most about Rhea, considering she captures her. So, uh, I don't know, but that's, that's sad. I feel bad for everyone watching and for me, mostly me, but also you, because I wanted to like get some sort of closure with Rhea. I wanted to see her if she was not a dragon anymore. They just said she was weak, so I guess she wasn't a dragon anymore. But also she might have fallen asleep after being a dragon, the way that Sothis and, uh, not Sothis, um, Setith and uh, Flame talk about falling asleep. I, I, it's just, it's just a little sad, you know? It's just a little sad. I will say though, that, that I probably, because I do want to try some like quirky runs of this game, but I don't want to waste them on new routes where like, oh, I want to learn about these students. Uh, and if I if I just do like a shady solo run, make him a wyvern lord and call it a day and let him dodge everything and just counterattack and boom, be done with it, then that's going to be kind of lame. You know, I'm not going to really get to experience all the supports and everything like that. But I also, I don't know. I don't know. All When all is said and done, this is an incredible game. Uh, if you were playing, the, if you were basically playing there's this game by watching me and you were living vicariously through the series, I really want to say thank you so much. And I'm really sorry that you don't have this game, um, but I'm really grateful that you were able. Oh, I like how they're there. They are. They updated the uh, pictures. Uh, the, they updated the sprites as their classes changed. I thought it was really cool. Um, I seriously thank you. And I wish you could play this game. And I just am grateful that I am the person that you chose to experience it with, even if it's for like the third or fourth time. I know a lot of you guys have literally already experienced it. You just want to see my reactions. Um, and I appreciate that too, of course. Uh, but I want to see if there's anything at the end of the game. Are they going to do credits now? Oh. Oh, this is going to be all individual stuff. Anna's business savvy proved to be a great asset in the post-war reconstruction of Garrig Mach. Once the restoration was complete, she disappeared from the area entirely. The tales of a mysterious merchant were passed down in every corner of the world for centuries to come. Some say she continues her travels even to this day, eternally peddling her wares and ever in search of the next lucrative opportunity. That's awesome. Cyril. Unable to serve Rhea any longer, Cyril nearly left the church. He was persuaded to stay, however, to assist in rebuilding the monastery he had helped maintain. Thanks to his devoted work ethic, the officer's academy was able to reopen a few years later. With the new students, when the new students took the reception hall, Cyril himself found himself among them. Oh, he was among the students. 
Shortly after the war, Shamir gave up the mercenary life and disappeared. Though she was never heard from again, rumors swirled persistently for years of a master archer turned thief who lined her pockets by shaking down all those who preyed upon the innocent. Robin Hood. Except she kept the money. Leone joined up with the mercenaries formerly led by Geralt. As his greatest apprentice, she quickly took on a leadership role and eventually even inherited the title of Blade Breaker. She became to be known as Geralt II, as she began to resemble him in all things, including his drinking habits. She left behind many unpaid tavern tabs. Oh, that's awesome. Scholar of Misfortune. Lysithia returned home to help her parents restore their family land. Years later, when the, when the end to their hard work was finally in sight, she relinquished House Ordelia's claim to nobility, ceding the territory to a nearby lord. Shortly thereafter, she and her family disappeared into obscurity. Aww. I'm sure she likes that. Marianne returned home to a hero's welcome. The people praised her talent and acknowledged her as a savior of Fodlin. One battle. Her adoptive father groomed her as his successor, teaching her the power of words over weapons. By the time she claimed her inheritance, she had transformed into one of Fodlin's most skilled orators. After the war, Kaspar set out alone on a journey of self-discovery. He traveled to every corner of Fodlin and even ventured abroad now and again. It is said that he got into mischief at every turn, but the victims of his antics, always more amused than harmed or offended, remembered him fondly and passed those stories on to future generations. Manuela left Garrick Mog to build her own academy in a small war-torn town. There, she contributed heavily to rebuilding efforts while teaching future generations the necessary skills of survival. Though she never married, had children, or had children of her own, she spent the last years of her life happily devoted to her students. Oh, I feel bad. She wanted to be in love so bad. Maybe I could have... I wonder if I could get Hanneman and Manuela together if I forced their support, and then they would actually get married. They probably would. Though Fodolin had changed, Hanneman's goal remained unwavering, to determine the workings of the crest and to do away with the inequality caused by them. To that end, his research resulted in magical tools that could be used even without the aid of crests. This proved to be yet another worthwhile discovery by the father of Christology. When Rhea resigned her position of Archbishop and left to the Church of Saros, Catherine followed. She devoted herself wholly to Rhea's protection, and the two lived a life of quiet seclusion. Though Thunderbrand remained always by her side, she became to be known by a different name, the Guardian of Zanato. Ooh. 31 battles for you, Gilbert. Gilbert returned to Ferdiad and resumed his duty as a knight, faithfully serving King Dimitri for many years. When he finally retired, it is said he spent the rest of his days coaching the young prince in the art of combat. The young prince. So, Dimitri is going to have a child. Spoilers! While Flane disappeared soon after the war, Setit stayed at the monastery and worked to restore the authority of the Church of Saros. Doing away with his old strictness, he adopted a tolerant stance toward all and encouraged his followers to do the same. When he was satisfied that the message was received, he vanished from the monastery. Several centuries later, a man and a woman in ancient attire emerged to a foldland that had drastically changed. When she asked the man beside her if it would be all right in this new era to call him father, he said that perhaps it would be better to remain on the safe side. He said that perhaps it would be better to remain on the safe side. Hold on. Okay, I'm pr I'm guessing that it just means that several centuries later, a man and woman in ancient attire emerged to a Fodlin. So like, this is they they they're coming back. This is not like them coming to the game. He said if it would be all right in this new era to call him father, he said that it perhaps would be better to remain on the safe side. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm I'm trying to figure out if that last paragraph is actually right before this but i think it's it's like a future future installment not installment i don't think they're gonna do anything with it but you know what i mean mercedes left home and went to garrick mock where she became a model cleric she devoted the whole of her life to the service of the goddess and became well loved by the people who revered her for her piety and her boundless generosity toward those in need oh <gasps> wait you're supposed to be with sylvain i guess not after the war felix inherited the title of duke Fraldarius from his late father rodrigue he married Dorothea, and the two began a happy life together. After they had finished restoring Fladorius' territory, Felix traveled across Fodlin as the king's right hand. Dorothea traveled with him always, and even threw herself into battle alongside him every so often. The tales of their bravery endured for generations, thanks in no small part- WHAT?! I DIDN'T PRESS A BUTTON?! Wow. As Margrave Guardior- Okay- WHOA! 
Oh, I'm sorry, Dimitri. So who did you... Dimitri had a son, though, apparently, so we'll see. As Margrave Gautier, Sylvain devoted his life to improving relations with the people of Shreng. Under his leadership, noble, nobles were persuaded that relics and crests were not necessary as they'd previously thought. Though he went down in history as an extraordinary lord, he could not have done so without the constant support and counsel of his wife, Ingrid, whose wisdom and tenacity ensured that the people would always prosper. Sylvain was ever loyal to his beloved wife. The couple had many children, and while not one of them bore a crest, they were all... Oh, why would... They were all equally and wholeheartedly loved. Oh, that shook me, dude. All right. Yes! After the war, Ash was formally knighted and appointed the new head of House Gaspard, which had no successors. He married Annette, and the couple's combined tenacity, intelligence, and courage proved more than a match for the many difficulties they faced in governing. Together, they helped Gaspard territory flourish more than it ever had before. From his lowly origins as an orphan, Ash grew to become a splendid knight much beloved by his people. After he passed, his story was immortalized in a book that was... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> ah! So many feelings! <laughs> I can't finish reading that sentence, so you guys are gonna have to read it. Oh, man. That's really good. I can literally, I can li After his coronation, Dimitri assumed the throne of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and his loyal vassal to do remained ever at his side. Among Dimitri's achievements was the reconciliation with Dusker, an extraordinary effort that required extensive negotiations to get past the history of betrayal and oppression. It was a trying task, but Dimitri never once considered giving up. While they behaved as lord and vassal in public, it is said that Dimitri and Dudu were more like family in private. When Dimitri finally fell to illness, what? The dude tended to his liege's deathbed and then took up a post at his grave for the rest of his days. When the time came, they were buried beside each other. Oh, that's sad. Where is this young prince that was trained? Unless my child is a young prince. After becoming the new archbishop of the Church of Seros, Shady announced his marriage to Petra. In light of her love for her spouse and her unique position to act as a bridge between the two regions, Petra entrusted her homeland's throne to her family and remained in Fodlin. Together, the two worked hard to restore Fodlin and improve relations with Bridget. The foreign, royal fam the foreign royal was initially met with skepticism, but in time, the people of Fodlin accepted and adored Petra. How could you not adore Petra? Thanks to their efforts in the distant future, the two lands were eventually as one. Wow. Ah! I'm sad that Dimitri and Ingrid didn't get together. Who is the young prince? Unless that's just the way that um, they were referencing Dimitri. Even though he was a king now, they wouldn't do that. He wouldn't do that. Unless it was his own child who was training. Was he royalty? Was he nobility? I don't remember. Oh well. All right. That's it. That's it. And there's a song playing, which means that I'm going to have to stop now. Seriously, thank you guys so much for this series. Thank you so much for still watching. 80 something episodes later with all the breaks we had all the thousands of you guys that are watching just it it, it really means a lot thank you so much um this was not a monetary series right like this series was not making money uh in like regards to other series that i do on the channel but i am so happy that i finished this game at least this route of this game because i had made a promise to myself in 2019 that i wouldn't start a game online and not finish it if it was under my control and this was the longest game I've ever done online and actually finished. So I'm super happy about that. With that, though, I got to get out of here. Have yourselves a fantastic day. There will not be Fire Emblem tomorrow. Like I said, have yourselves a fantastic day. But above all else, keep it shady.